I have said that I think it's important to have an understanding of other people's personalities and how they see the world differently, because it can help our relationships and can save some hurt and anger caused from misunderstandings. In this video, I wanted to go into a few reasons why understanding other people's personalities has helped me personally. Firstly, is that it can help me to understand why I will never be fully understood by other people. Being an INFJ, it is very difficult for anyone to properly understand who I am and how I think. This has always been a big issue for me, feeling misunderstood, and though I still feel it now, and probably always will, I could take a step back and look at the areas I am understood in, instead of just saying that I'm not understood at all. And knowing that being an INFJ means that I'm going to be very logical and also very value focused at the same time, helps me to see that although other people will focus on one or the other, I'm going to be split down the middle. My ENFP mum can understand me a bit because she is also an intuitive feeler, but she has NE instead of NI, as well as FI instead of FE, so there is still an element of disconnect. And also being a feeling type, she's definitely more focused on values than logic, whereas I tend to be a bit more in the middle. Also, my ENTJ partner can understand how I think to a certain extent, because he also has NI secondary. He will be able to understand my depth and ability to predict things, and it could be fun seeing who is right with our theories. But again, because I'm sort of in the middle between feeling and thinking, I can be more value focused than he is. But the main thing that I have found from learning about personalities has helped me to understand that my dad's an ISTJ, which is the complete opposite with me according to functions. His top function is SI, and my SI is 8th. Same as my NI, which is 1st, is 8th for him, and so on. So there will always be a major disconnect between us, how we see the world, how we act, our values, our essence will always be different. I found this very difficult growing up, knowing that the way I thought and saw the world was always wrong according to him, but as I've come to understand MBTI and the cognitive functions more, I can accept that we will truly never understand each other, and that's okay. I can appreciate our differences and the different perspective that he will bring compared to how I see things. Secondly, I can now appreciate how people think differently and how their different perspectives can be beneficial, especially when solving a problem. I am able to assess what I need help with with an issue, and then I can go to the person who can help me the best. Which means that I don't go to someone who isn't overly comfortable with emotions to cry on their shoulder, and I don't go to someone who much prefers value over logic when I need a really logical, difficult answer to a question. I think it has helped me to appreciate our differences more. It's obvious that we are all different and unique in the way we experience the world, and as I have said before, MBTI is only one small slice of the pie, it does not explain everything. But it can definitely help when you know the strengths of each cognitive function and personality type, so you can see how each person has grown and achieved things using their specific personalities. Rather than my initial thoughts that I must not like people because I am an introvert, or that I am weird because I see things on a much deeper level than everyone else, and that I am always told I am pessimistic or morbid. Actually, I am intuitive, and I just don't like having too much going on at once, and that's okay. I am not weird for that, just because there was always a level of disconnect between me and pretty much everyone at my school and university doesn't make me weird, but it doesn't make them weird too. We are all just different, and I can now understand why and appreciate our differences. Thirdly, I think it can help people to become better versions of themselves and discover the gifts they have that they can bring to the world. If you can figure out the personality type that you have, then you can learn your strengths and to see the areas where you shine and the natural gifts that you have. And when other people discover their personalities, they can do the same, and you can help them to find out their gifts as well. I think many of us struggle with saying what we are good at, especially as adults, because we can't just do a maths test, get an A, and then see, obviously we must be good at maths. It's more complicated as an adult, so knowing your personality type can help with that. Also, many of us are not naturally good at seeing our own strengths. I know I have always had to ask someone else what I'm good at, especially when it comes to writing CVs. I really hate selling myself, but now that I know I am an INFJ, I have a starting point for things that I'm likely to be good at. I may not be good at all of the things that are suggested with INFJs, and there may be other things that I am good at that are not actually listed. But having a starting place to help me get thinking and realising that actually I am pretty good at that thing can help. And once you know some of your own strengths, it can help you with choosing jobs for example, like me deciding not to work in retail again, because I understand that although I like helping people, that environment drains me massively. Or hobbies, intuitive types are supposed to be really creative, so I'm doing painting by numbers. I don't think I'm very good at painting or drawing, but it's definitely a happy medium, 
because I can create but not have to do anything from scratch. Anyway, I hope this video is interesting. Hopefully learning about your personality and the personalities of people around you has helped or is helping you to formulate better relationships with them. At the end of the day, we are all special. We all have so much to bring to this world and we are all just as important as each other. No matter how big or small the role you play in life is, the world is better off with you in it shining your light. Thank you for your time.